So shall we start? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are meeting in the second session of a workshop. A. Let me make a disclaimer. All of you need to understand that when we talk about a workshop, the nature of a workshop is very, very different from delivering the lectures. Right. So you will have to understand the difference between these very tiny but very important and cardinal factors like a symposium, a lecture, a workshop, a conference, a seminar. So let me make it pretty clear to you that it's a workshop. That means after initial five or six lectures, we will change the setup of also classroom and all of you will get a lot of handouts in which you will have to do a lot of interactive exercises. Right? Maybe there will be even of assessment which will take place necessarily not in a form of examination but so that we can see that you are going to learn and how much you have learned for that I will request all of you to download certain apps which will help us these are ICT tools which will help us to know that you have understood everything pretty well one app all of you will have to download is Mentimeter and another is Kahoot Right? I'm not saying you have to do it today, but by tomorrow or by next class when we are going to meet, either you have an ISO, iPhone or Google or whatever. Whatever is the nature of your mobile, they are freely available app. We are going to use these app for a lot of purpose. A, we are going to teach you how ICT tools can be used in a classroom so that we can understand. B, they are, and I'm going to also introduce you the third app, which is going to be Testimos. This is used to test, to check the students, what is their level of learning and so and so forth. So, Mentimeter and Kahoot. Whenever you get a chance, please, please don't do it right now. Second, please do not take a snap of the PPT when we are delivering the lecture because I have left the PPT here and I'll request Tenzin to ensure that he will distribute it among all of you. So whenever we will deliver a lecture, immediately by evening you will get the PPT. So don't waste your time and concentration while taking the pictures and all that. Right? So all set? So let's start. Uh, one lecture was already delivered to you by my colleague, Jasmeet sir. Today I'm going to deliver another lecture you are going to see, of course, inevitably, there is going to be a lot of layover and a kind of mixing of lot of concepts. I am aware what he taught you yesterday. Yes, the concepts can be repetitive even today, but I am going to teach you from a different perspective. The perspective which is going to help you to understand the same kind of concepts, but with a different kind of understanding, a different kind of need. We, before developing the modules of this course, had met and had sat down with the teachers of Tibetan language also. We were very curious to know that when he told me that he needs a workshop, what should be the nature of this workshop? Because please understand when you talk about linguistics, it's a very, very broad area. Everything which comes under the sun, the problem is if you think that linguistics or phonetics is related with language, Yes, it is related with language, but it is not only related with language. It is related with culture. It is related with literature. It is related with power. It is related with the philosophical concept which you call truth, which you call reality. Everything which comes under the sun actually can be connected with linguistics. So inevitably, you understand, I hope, that this is a very, very, very powerful concept and the discourse can go any way. If I want to talk philosophy of language, yes, I can do. If I want to talk mathematical analysis of linguistics, yes, I can do. Scientific analysis, yes, I can do. Right? So there are various fields and branches of that. We are also teaching you specifically this course, which we will continue in the separate compartmentalization. For instance, based on the feedback from the student, later on you want us to deliver lectures on phonetics or some other aspects of that we will do. For that, First and foremost, you need the introduction of linguistic in its totality. Am I audible to the students who are at the back? Right. If not, you can tell me, then I'll take the microphone. Right? Okay. Introducing linguistics. I'm sure when we come on trying to define linguistics, there is a very simple definition of linguistics. Linguistics is the scientific study of language. Be very careful about all these three words. You cannot afford to miss even a single adjective. You cannot say it's study of language. No, it's not only study of language, right? 
it is scientific study of language now calling scientific study of language brings automatically a lot of weightage why why linguistic had to insist and linguist had to insist that you call it scientific because unfortunately in india as well as across the globe for humanities there is no place there is no funding so when language has started to realize this that we can face a lack of funding language immediately understood this that for our survival in 21st century we will have to call it scientific because the moment you put science associated with this what comes in your mind a lab assessment experimentation something which is mathematical and most importantly not the verbal jugglery which is otherwise available in philosophy but something concrete if i can mix two things together outcome can i touch it can i feel is it is useful for the society in that way linguistics also started to contribute to the society right that's why i'm reinsisting and reiterating on the fact that we are going to define linguistics please ensure that you never eschew or delete or expunge or leave you cannot afford to do that you cannot leave the word scientific before the study of language right so let's try to understand with i am not going to talk about various definitions and all and please try to understand there are going to be lot of slides i have deliberately written which i am not going to discuss with you because these slides are meant to be given to you there are few slides which you have to read there, that is a kind of uh, elaboration of the same points i am not going to read here with you so that we can save some time and i can come to this part when i say it's a workshop we can do some interactive kind of exercises right maybe not in this day but when we will go into pragmatic and semantics and phonetics especially then we will be using a lot of handouts among all of you so that and a comparative linguistic phonetics where tibetan as well as english sounds will be taught to you comparatively of course i am not competent to teach you tibetan language i'll be doing english but yeah i'm taking the help of some of the teacher to note down some of the sounds where you can understand that when we talk about diphthong or monothong or duality of english language is it that other languages also have that kind of format or not right so let's get to this a do you need some essential books if some of you are curious that okay so many heavy words and so many definitions are taught to all of you please do not go and consult any other book just remember one name which is professor david crystal and this is one dictionary which i highly recommend for all of you very concise and very precise definitions of almost every aspect of linguistics is given in this right none of you have to buy it whatever we are teaching you the important handouts i will leave it with the president so that everything will be distributed among all of yourself right we are working on this next time when we will have your class before we meet you that means almost two days before we meet you enough handouts will be given to you so that you read prepare and then come so that we can save a lot of time in classroom so that i don't talk about definition so that basically we don't bore you with something which is not going to be useful practicality of language can be understood by all of us the second is encyclopedia which has come into its third edition both are by david crystal and there is nobody else which who is a better authority than professor crystal on linguistics so i thought if you are looking for any book right this is one book dictionary of linguistics and phonetics that's all period after that you don't have to go and search for any other book right what is the outline of my today's lecture right a first we are going to talk about the difference between dialect and language i come from rajasthan we have a very humorous though but a very important proverb in rajasthan that after 10 kilometers marwadi language changes how is it possible that a language changes so often some of my students told me that when you talk about tibet you know what is the problem when people those who are in power especially coming from western civilization they paint a country and a civilization with a brush they say east as if the whole east is a homogeneous entity they have to understand that there is amazing diversity within even 1000 people for instance so many of you are sitting here but the moment and the tone and the intonation with which you will start to speak in tibetan language all of your tone will be different because remember though you may be talking the same language but your dialects are different so a before entering into course of linguistics you have to understand what is the basic difference between a dialect and 
language. This word dialect has nothing to do with dialectics. Right? So please even don't try to find out a kind of relationship. Besides that they both are about language. As I told you, everything is under the sun is going to be related with that. So first I am going to explain to you what is the difference between dialect, uh, sorry, dialect and language. Then comes the second point. And remember, this is one of those important aspects which is going to help us to enter and make us very easy with otherwise a very difficult concept in a course of linguistics. Do animals also talk? Yes? yes Again, let me frame my question. If I ask you, do they talk or do they communicate with each other? Which is a better word? They don't talk because talk requires some of the part of bodies which we have. Right? You need a larynx, you need lips, you need teeth, you need exit of air and so and so forth. Right? Some of the animals might not have it. But all the animals communicate to each other. So, what are the different ways in which animal word is different from human word? So, the second part, I am going to talk to you about the difference between human language and animal communication system. Let me insist on this. Please see carefully. I have not used human language and animal language. Right? I have said human language and animal communicative system. Yes, they communicate with each other. Yes, there are few animals like dolphins. Right? Which even can communicate better than human beings. You can forget after 20 years something which was taught by your teachers. But a dolphin till a dolphin dies, will not forget a single vibrancy, single sound, single frequency length. Right? So they have an amazing memory. And that's why you have seen people train dolphins to do different kind of things. Right? Okay. Then I'm going to talk to you about different dimensions of linguistics. Since now you are in language class, be very careful. You know, one of the most outstanding quotations I ever read was one of my favorite writer who said, when you have to use a word, even don't use the second cousin of that word. What happens usually among the students is that we start to take some words as synonymous with other words. They are not. When I am saying dimensions of linguistics, I am going to be very precisely talking about a very important concept. I am not talking about, I am not saying types of linguistics. I am not saying branches of linguistics because that is going to be a different thing. I am talking about dimensions of linguistics. When I will come to that slide, I will also try to define what do I mean when I say dimen dimensions. Then we have branches of linguistics and then we have a very recent term, micro and macro linguistics. Micro is something which is on a smaller level, macro is just the opposite of that which is something on a bigger, larger level. Right? So this is today's talk. This way we will be leaving our PPTs with you and this is going to be very important PPT so that me and Jasmeet are ensured that we don't overlap each other's concept and you can get the most out of the PPTs, right? What is linguistics? I am not going to go into this because this is already introduced to you. Then why did I make this slide? Because I am most important in the final point. Right? Yes, linguistics is about language. Yes, it is the scientific analysis of language. But what is the relation of language to reality? What is the relationship of language to truth? Right? And here is my question. And I'll be very happy, as I told you, it's a workshop. Let's respect a kind of format. I'll be very happy if some of you can stand up and talk about this issue. Right? Which is, what is the relationship between language and reality? When I say this is a marker, is it that the marker was already there, right? So reality is always there and language is just a medium or actually the opposite is true. When I use the language that it's a marker, you became aware of the presence of a thing. So is it that language creates reality and truth for you or is it that truth is always there and language is just a servile servant of a truth and a, an object or a reality? What do you think? How is it? Is language, when I say, okay, this is a chair, this is a table, that is a board, right? And what if, if I tell you that is an elephant? You will laugh on me and you will say, no, no, sir, you are mistaken. This is not an elephant, this is a board. But then 10 people tell you that, no, this is an elephant. Then you go to Tibbat back and somebody tells you this is an elephant. You start to have doubt on your own linguistic 
capability. You will say, is it? Is it that it has changed? These days people are calling it an elephant. Or you go outside and you meet a dog and I'll say, aha, that is dinosaur. <laughs> and you'll say, no, 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 sir, this is not dinosaur. This is a dog. I'll say, no, this is a dinosaur. You will have a lot of faith. You'll laugh on me and you'll go. But then you meet 30 people, 40 people and people who are in power. Your vice chancellor comes and tells you that this is a dinosaur. You will bow down and you will say, yes, sir, this is a dinosaur now. <laughs> So what is the relationship between language and truth? Right? The moment you will understand this, you will understand that there have been few countries which use the language to dominate and colonize other people. There are few countries, they were not interested in linguistics, but they use language to make people slave. Right? Because they considered certain languages inferior and they considered certain languages superior. The language in which I am talking about today is not my language. It's a colonial language. The moment we say English, suddenly the concept of modernity, technology, a well-read person coming from the Western civilization and all that idea is associated with that. But that is not me. I'm an Indian. I'm, 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 I'm comparatively a very poor person. I have never crossed the even Ganges River, that side of the world. So I'm a typical Indian, but I'm capable to speak this language. So is it that now we in India, as well as in other countries, you are using language to answer back to the rest of the world? Is it that when you speak good language, right, you don't call me an enemy of Hindi or Sanskrit or Tibetan or any other language, but you understand this, that by using language today, I'm telling the rest of the world that now this is not your forefathers progeny. This also belongs to me. There is a beautiful concept in philosophy, especially in literary philosophy, which says, let us use the master's tools to dismantle the master's house. Right? I'm going to be a kind of soldier who will not take any weapon. I will enter in master's house, which is of course colonizer, which is English people. I'll enter in their house and I'll dismantle their house. Chota bachya karta hai na? Chote bachya ko aap kamre mein ghusai hai, sab kuch niche gira deta hai. And you will never slap that boy or girl because it's innocent, right? Is it that we, those who are winning Booker Prizes years after years, the name of Salman Rushdie or Amitabh Ghosh or Vikram Seth or Kiran Desai or Arvind Diga or politicians or teachers who speak good English, today Indians are respected across the globe because they can speak good English. Is it also that language is associated with economics also? Is it the person Right? Why I chose English? Because one of my teachers said, Ki are, kamaega kya Hindi padega to? Sanskrit padega to kamaega kya? And I did not understand that time. Then I said, okay, what should I do? They said, paisa kamana hai to angreji sikho. <laughs> Is it that, it sounds like a funny statement, but please try to understand the depth of this. Is it that this advice by one of my old teachers makes me aware about language and power? Is power associated with language? Right? And please, for this perspective, don't hate or think that, oh, in English it is available. No. When I travel in this country and somebody who comes from Banaras and Allahabad and he speaks Shuddh Hindi, people respect that person. And somebody who speaks mixed Hindi, they say, Are, isko to Hindi bhi nahi aati hai, bhai. So it is available in Hindi also. Maybe it is in Tibetan languages also. Right? The dialects. Something is considered as superior. Something is considered as inferior. How did that happen? If language is just about analysis, it's a scientific study, it is about learning the words, still there is a politics which is involved in this. Right? Few of my lectures I'm going to talk to you about sociolinguistics. Sociolinguistics is a very, very important part of language. You might have heard thousand people speaking English. Then how is it possible that you get encaptured by someone and you are not interested even listening to others? They are also speaking good English, right? So any language, I'm giving you the examples from English because that's the language I'm giving you this lecture in. Please do not understand that all the examples which I have given you are limited to English. They are not, right? Okay. So we are going to talk about what is the relationship of language to reality and truth. I leave this question to you. Do you think that it's vice versa? Language creates reality. When the colonizers went to Spain, went to South America, came to India, they said, oh, you are Indian. You have brown skin. That's why you are barbarian. You are a lazy app. 
and I have all the right to rule over you because I will civilize you. And they coined the term white man's burden. White person has a burden to train black people. Is it that they were creating a truth for the rest of the world which actually existed till 1960, till the fall of the empires? Everybody thought across the globe that, oh, whatever these people have told us, that's truth because they used a language which was the most circulated language across the globe. If I say something or publish a paper in English because the reading appeal is more, is it that the language is going to create a truth which is not going to be challenged or broken or smashed or deteriorated or sabotaged by any other language? Is that also one of the possibilities? We'll talk about that. I'm not going to answer this question. I'm just leaving this question so that all of you discuss, decide. And remember, there are some of the questions the day you will try to grab their neck and will say that, aha, I have got the final answer, we will be killing the soul of discussion. Let's not do that. Let's not be another colonizers. Let's not remove a white person, English speaking white person and be at the seat of that person and say, oh, you exercised your violence thousand years on me. Now it's my turn to do that. Right? So let's leave certain categories pretty open. I leave this category open. Some of you may believe that yes, it is language which creates reality. Fair enough. Some of you can say that no, reality is always there. Language is just a method to communicate that oh, for instance, some of my students are not capable to tell me what is this, let's say. Right? Does this mean that this thing does not exist? It does not exist for them. Because they will feel, I don't know what is This does not exist for me. But is it really? the case that it does not exist it does right importance of language i'm skipping this because we have been talking about this all of you know what is the importance of language i made you aware of one more importance of language remember language is not only for communication language is not only for message delivery language is a marker of power the way you speak it the place where you have got your education with, the way your intonation, your pronunciations are, right? Immediately your language will be categorized as King's English, Queen's English, Babu English, and so and so forth, right? How many languages, a colorful map, a visual, sometimes attracts our eyes more than anything else, right? And look at this. So many varieties of language and they are only so many because they are still controlled by the family groups. There are families of the language which you came to know yesterday, right? We are going to debunk, demystify, elaborate, illustrate and see that there are going to be different, inherent, small, diversified and very, very powerful subcategories associated with that. These I am skipping. These are just the big words of some of the great writers whom you cannot escape, whom you cannot afford to miss, especially this next man. Noam Chomsky, a Jewish linguist whom all of you know today as an anti-American speaker. Right? But you will be surprised to know that the Jewish boy, when he was at the age of 16, had published a paper which changed language and grammar. You cannot skip, we call it Chomsky moment. Grammar has changed after Noam Chomsky's publication. He is still alive and it is said that after Stephen Hawkins, he is the person who is in demand so far as lectures are concerned. Right? Now, dialect versus language. Basically, what is the difference between dialect and language? According to me, only one. If I am from Rajasthan, I will speak in Marwadi. Though you will understand my Marwadi, but my Marwadi will sound a bit different, but still it's Marwadi. It's a dialect. Right? So we have Paliwala Marwadi, Jodhpur, Hadoti, Kota, you know, all that different dialects are there. Language will be totally different. Right? For instance, when I was in Rajasthan, I thought that when I'll go to UP, I'll be able to understand their Hindi. But when I came here, I found that they speak Hindi totally differently. Not only the tone, but I could not understand what they were saying. Though that was also Hindi. Now, I will not call it a dialect of Hindi. I will call it a total different language, which you can call an upper branch of Bhojpuri or something else. But it was a different language. Now, look at that. If I call anybody who is from Hyderabad, Right? And they start to speak Hindi, they'll say, Kya re mama, kya karta re bhai? 
तुम इन लोगों को अक्कल नहीं होता कह रहे वेन दे स्पीक दिस लैंग्वेज यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई जस्ट सैड बट द टोन इज डिफरेंट इट्स वन ऑफ द डायलैक्ट्स ऑफ हैदराबादी विच बिकेम अ वेरी पॉपुलर बाई द वे बिकॉज ऑफ द बॉलीवुड एंड ऑल बिकम अ वेरी पॉपुलर नाउ दैट विल बी अ डायलैक्ट नॉट अ टोटल डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज राइट सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट understandable variety dialect is just a variety but you understand that what is language incomprehensible variety it's a variety of language which you will not understand so you will have to look towards the person for more assistant and we will categorize as language are we clear about dialect and language let's not complicate remember you are reading linguistics please try to understand that in a workshop of linguistics don't try to use a lot of concepts to complicate the things around you because there are going to be lot just understand the basic but even you read 10% of the things in linguistics try to grab it so well that you have your mastery over this so what i'm saying is this please do not think that all 100% i'll understand you understand 10% but understand it well right so i'm not going into other things just one difference dialect a variety but still i'll understand it i hope you understand that when you go to different part of tibet within the country you may find a little bit of variation now look at let me give you an example you might have heard about telangana 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 was one of the states in india which became a separate state from andhra pradesh right because of linguistic diversity right next animal human studies right let's not exercise our concept of violence again and think that oh the moment i'll say animal we think oh less powerful <coughs> no that's why i picked up deliberately this picture they are if not better half of ours they are exactly the better half of this mother earth right the gaia theory of greek island has always made us aware that we and there are lot of scientists for instance one lady spent all of her life to understand the language of chimpanzee right so let's not say that they don't speak yes they do and you know one day i was watching tv and i came across this amazing example if you have heard about this show ye mera india one amazing example in a village in northeast where people have not given name to each other they call each other by the sound of the bird and none of the sound of the name because that will be your name so let's say 100 of you are there right and i cannot produce one sound to call you so i will produce different sounds to call all of you i do, even don't want to try it i am very bad at that so don't the way you are looking at me it looks like sir ek sound sunaiye na i am not going to do that right i am just giving an example that look they have learned from birds and they have given these names these are our identities signifiers of all of us so how animal bird is different from human bird let's try to understand these are some of these i'll directly come to the first duality of structure or patterning now this is a very basic concept of linguistics so let me try to analyze it to you these are three sounds right whenever we put something into a slash like this this becomes a sound so do not call it pa ba enter it will become pa right and let me give you a few more sounds like a o now can you use this sounds and make certain words right for instance let's say a p p and t if i produce these three words together i will have words act i will have words tap i will have words tag and she is right we will have words pot we will have op we will have top yeah you got what we are doing human being is capable to do that human being is capable to pick up three sounds and make 10 words animals are not capable to do that so the first difference right remember my aim is not to teach you what is the difference my aim is that through this interesting way i will make you aware about the qualities of linguistics 
So what is the first most important quality of linguistics associated with human word? We work with duality of structure. What is that duality of structure? First we choose sounds. For instance, when a toddler, a baby is born, right? The moment baby is born, baby will not have long and lengthy words. Baby will not say, the day the baby will born, he'll say, aha, I am from Czechoslovakia, how are you? No. This will be pretty difficult for the baby to speak. So what babies do? They speak monosyllable word. Ah, o, ma, na, pa. And parents tell them, beta bulo papa. Right? So they imitate your lips sound because they are not aware of doing that. For this, you need some qualification and some age. The age where you start to distinguish between one sound and another sound. But it's not only about sound, it's about combination of sounds. But now why I'm calling it duality of structure? So remember, from sounds you make words and from words you make sentences. So dual structure. Animals will not be able to do that. Right? So that's where we are superior animals. A bit superior. Right? So look at that. Distinctive sounds called phonemes are arbitrary. We will teach all of, all of these things. Don't worry. When the time will come, we'll teach you phonemes, we'll teach you morphemes, we'll teach you phonology and all that. Right? Right now, I'm just telling you the basic difference. Right? So did you get this point, the first point? First, you produce, we work on two structures. Right? Now, let me give you an advice here. That's why, if some of you want to become teachers, always remember that never give the example to your students which is one. Always give examples to students where one thing differs from another thing. For instance, when you teach a child, a child will ask, what is this? Let's say I take the child to the, let's say, fruit shop. Don't show banana and say this is banana. No. Show the child this is banana because this is apple, because this is pineapple, because this is so and so forth. When you learn in comparative mode like this, you learn faster, you learn better and that information stays with you. Right? So A, in linguistics class, please try to develop a habit which we all have lost. What was that habit? At our times, though I am not, I don't belong to that ancient era of Greek and Roman civilization, but at our time, our teachers used to force us to go and consult a dictionary. Kya hota hai? When you are trying to look for a word in dictionary, to find that word, you will have to look at a word up and a word down. Today, you have lost that habit. Today, you just order Google. When you are sleeping, right? There are uh, technological apps for you. You will say, Ah, bhai, Alisha, ya koi bhi naam dijiye aap. Dog ki spelling batao to, dog ka meaning batao to, and they'll tell you. You type something on your mobile, and the, don't do that. Please do a little bit of, because this, remember, you are changing the rules of learning. Right? Ask this question. Is it not happening with all of us that when we were children, every day we were learning 20 or 30 new words, but today we are learning only one or two words. Or sometime in a month we are learning one new word. Why we are learning so less? We are learning so less because we have lost the habit of learning in comparative mode. Right? So A. Duality of structure. What is duality of structure? First you make some sounds, then you make words, and then you make... Let, I have given an example. Look at that spot the tops of the pots. So I have made this word from pa, a, ta sound and then you have made a sentence. Spot the tops of the pots. You understand pots, right? So top, is, spot means you have to observe that. Right? So first rule is duality of structure. This is where human beings are different. So this is one of the aspects of English linguistics. Right? And I beg your pardon, let me not say English linguistics. Linguistics. I hope in Tibetan language also, this is how you learn. First you learn a sound and from one sound, you are capable to make three. Three sounds I have read. A, P, T, T, A, P, P, A, T. And we made so many verbs. Right? So, learn sounds, learn to make words and then make sentences. But, can we make sentences in any way? No. Your sentences have to mean something. So it has to be controlled by grammar rules. Right? I'll come back to that. Why grammar comes into picture. Am I clear about this? Yes. Okay. 
Second is creativity. Right? Animals, right from the inception of their world, they have been producing the same kind of sound. आपने ऐसे सुना है कि कोई कुत्ता परसों तक तो कोई और sound में बोलता था, आज आप जाओ तो अलग sound में आपसे बात करे। पर आप बोले अरे वाह, ये तो अलग sound में बात कर रहा है। नहीं, dogs या फिर ऐसा हो कि आप बोलो कि sir पता है, यहाँ तो कुत्ते भोकते हैं। तिब्बत में तो sir सांप की तरह बोलते हैं कुत्ते। ऐसा तो � Right? Whatever is the age of a dog, a dog is known by the sound it produces. The animal is known. इसलिए छोटी classes में हम बच्चों को क्या पढ़ाते हैं? Animal की photo दिखाते हैं और sound सिखाते हैं. Don't we do that? Here, human is the only animal, the only species which is capable to create sentences. Right? For instance, for this, I always give the example from great literary writers. Right? I always give example to my student that look, you open up Salman Rushdie's one novel and look at that how Rushdie has written the day he was born. He says, I was born at the time when both the hands of the clock were welcoming me in the world. What time he was born? Midnight. 12 o'clock, midnight. But he did not say in a normal way, I was born at midnight. He is saying it an innovative way. We are capable to create new sentences. We are capable. Ten years back, nobody knew selfie. You will not find this word ten years back. Today, selfie is a word which you don't know. It's not possible. People are dying because of this word. Right? So, we produce new words. Languages learn from each other. They borrow and they land the words so that you can learn from each other. Creativity. Am I clear about this? Interchangeability. In human species world, a male and a female both can receive and send any sound. But you will be surprised to know that in animal world, what a she bee can do, he bee, queen and the servants we call it. Queen bee can do, other bees cannot do. Right? What some animals, uh, what I am saying is basically let's cut it short. In animal world, the sound which you produce is governed by your gender also. Here, either it is a boy or a girl, though I must tell you that I hope all of you understand that most of the time this is also a power politics. Right? When I say God, I always say He. Right? I always say white God. I always say beautiful God. Rarely worship, we worship a God like uh, Ganesh, who is abdominous, right? Who is fat, who does not have a head, right? And we worship. We worship because of the mythological power in stories. Otherwise, all of our gods are handsome, right? They are beautiful. We always call it he. We are not even aware. I have seen girls when they make presentations, they give the example, they will say he. And I always say, why are you talking about he? Let's say she, because she is capable to have he in this. He is a very bankrupt word. It's only two letters, H and E. But look at she, it has S-H-E. So let's use something which has three rather than two words. Right? So, interchangeability. Though I am aware about the politics of this, but I am not giving you a lecture on gender studies, so let's not go even in that. Otherwise, it will open up a different kind of discourse. Cultural transmission. Right? Have you ever seen a beehive? Right? Now, honeybees make it. And do you know the shape of this? How beautiful is this? This is made in hexagonal. Nobody teach them geometry or mathematics or trigonometry. Right? That they do it themselves. They do it themselves. They do it themselves. We have learnt it from them how to make houses. I don't know if you know it or not, in the last year, a girl has given an award to NASA. Why did she get an award? NASA wanted to know that we had a house in the sun so that we could get a little bit more people in the sun. That small place was given to us in 12 or 13 years. She gave a model of beehive that we had to learn from the beehive. We had to learn from the beehive. How do we make the house? And she got an award for the beehive. NASA is working on that. And she got an award for the beehive. And she got an award for the beehive. Right? So, cultural transmission. Here you will have to understand two terms. Cultural transmission, we have to learn the language. Animals don't learn the language. You got my point? When a 
kitty or any pup of the animal is born, they speak that language. ऐसा है क्या कि कुत्ते का बच्चा पैदा होते ही दहाड़ने लग जाता है बोले अरे ये कौन सी लैंग्वेज में बात कर रहा है राइट और यू टीच हाँ टॉमी बोलो मेरा नाम बोलो दैट विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू दैट राइट बिकॉज दे आर गिफ्टेड जेनेटिकली विद द लैंग्वेज दे आर सपोज टू स्पीक बट आर बी गिफ्टेड नो यू विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड दैट्स वाई वी ऑल आर सिटिंग यर यू हैव टू लर्न द लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू लिटरली वर्क हार्ड this is known as cultural transmission now learn another word for animals everything is instinctive right instinct hoti hai unme kutta jo karega wo karega billi jo karegi jo karegi ghoda jo karega wo karega gaay ghaas hi khayegi na right aajkal plastic bhi khati ho dusri cheez hai but gaay ko pata hai ki mujhe kya karna hai usko kisi ne sikhaya nahi hai haathi ko pata hai mujhe kya karna hai insaan ke bachcho ko hame sikhana padta hai मोगली की कहानी पता है ना मोगली पढ़ा है ना आपने अगर इंसान के बच्चे को नहीं सिखाया जाए और छोटे से बच्चे को वो जंगल में उठा के ले गए थे तो वो दो पाँव की जगह चार पाँव पे चलता था उसको लगता था कि चलते ऐसे ही हैं राइट बट ही वॉज कैपेबल टू स्पीक द लैंग्वेज राइट बिकॉज रिमेंबर ह्यूमन लैंग्वेज ओरिजन इज समवेयर और अदर दी साउंड प और ब जो संस्कृत पढ़ते हैं आप में से आपको पता होगा कि हाथी की चिंगाड़ से कितने सारे शब्द आए हैं राइट right? और आपको पता होगा कि शिव ने अपना डमरू बजा के सारे के सारे वर्ड्स सारे के सारे साउंड दे दिए थे और आज भी मैं कहता हूँ ओपनली कहता हूँ कि अगर आपको किसी भी दुनिया का ग्रामर पता करना हो दुनिया की पहली ग्रामर की बुक पाणिनी ने लिखी थी अष्टाध्याय राइट तो जब वो जिस एरा के डेट्स भी हमें नहीं पता है उस एरा में एक आदमी ने ग्रामर की बुक लिखी थी सो ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी हैज लर्न फ्रॉम ईच अदर सिविलाइजेशन राइट सो देर इज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सुपियरिटी एंड इनफियरिटी इन दिस कल्चरल ट्रांसमिशन लेट मी कट इट शॉर्ट कल्चरली ट्रांसमिटेड अमंग ह्यूमन बींग्स नॉट जेलिटी जेनेटिकली ट्रांसमिटेड Humans have to acquire through learning, hence develop non-instinctive behavior. That is not instinctive कि बच्चा पैदा होते ही English बोलने लग जाएगा You have to teach them, right? So am I clear about this also? Displacement, right? Now this displacement has nothing to do with diaspora kind of displacement. This displacement means context bound and context less, right? Animal communication is context bound, but human language is context free. What do I mean context free? Today I can write a book about 1870, can't I? Today I can write a book about 2080, 2080, right? You have watched some science fiction movies, right? जहाँ बताते हैं भविष्य में दुनिया ऐसी होगी. human being because based on that creativity they are capable to have displacement an animal is not capable to think in past an animal is not capable to think in future animal will react to the danger ek hiran ka bachcha ghaas kha raha hai aap usko pass mein jaoge aur jab usko pata chalega ki aap se darna hai to hi wo bhagega right but human being had se zyada sochta hai isliye hum zyada tension mein rehte hain आप ट्रेन में घूम रहे हो और आपको लग रहा है अरे ये आदमी मुझे घूर क्यों रहा है क्या बात है फिर वो आदमी आके आपको बोलेगा हंसता हुआ बिस्किट खाइए ना आपको बोलेगा अरे मेरी मम्मी ने तो बोला था बिस्किट नहीं खाने ट्रेन में शायद जहर मिला हुआ हो एवरी थिंग यू हैव कुक दैट पर्सन हैज नॉट गिवन यू दिस मैसेज बट वी कुक अप द स्टोरीज दो अ गुड क्वालिटी बट इट कैन बी अ पिटी डेंजरस एन यू नो दो पीपल दैट्स वाई वी डोंट इवन टॉक टू आवर नेबर्स द वे आवर नेबर विल लुक एट अस वी विल कुक अप अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड विल से ओ दैट्स वॉट ही मैंट यस्टरडे मे बी दैट पर्सन डिड नॉट मीन दैट राइट दैट्स वेर यू हैव प्रॉब्लम ऑफ क्रॉस कल्चरल कम्युनिकेशन वैन यू केम टू फर्स्ट डे केम टू इंडिया मे बी यू माइट हैव गॉट अ कल्चरल शॉक इन ऑफ योर लाइफ और टूडे इवन यस्टरडे इवन कह रहे इंडिया में ऐसा होता है मैं तिब्बत चला जाऊँ राइट right? जब मैं पहली बार इस यूनिवर्सिटी में आया उन्होंने बोला सर चाय पियेंगे मैंने कहा बिल्कुल पियेंगे चाय दे दे ब्रॉड टेन टाइप्स ऑफ टीज एंड पुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी कि सर ये भी चाय ये भी चाय ये भी चाय ये भी चाय मैंने कहा भाई साहब मैं दूध वाली चाय उबली हुई पत्ती के अंदर उसी को समझता हूँ चाय फॉर मी इट वॉज अ कल्चरल शॉक शॉक इज नॉट अ नेगेटिव टर्म फॉर योर काइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट इट्स नोइंग अ न्यू थिंग अबाउट अ कल्चर right so they are capable to do that they can think about past they can think about future they can talk about future that's why in grammar we have three tenses past present 
future monkey will not talk in these three tenses right animal will talk only in one tense the language of danger when that person is in danger animals will react accordingly specialization right now be very careful i am nowhere saying that we can do lot of works together but yes while talking you can do lot of things right for instance i am listening music and i am cutting vegetable and i am talking to my teacher my student my wife my health, whatever right we can do that human being is capable to do that you can talk over phone and can do side by side another thing let's say gardening let's say writing people do driving the most dangerous thing people are driving which needs focus and concentration but they are always listening to the music students in the classes pretend that they are listening to their teachers but they are listening to the music right so we are gifted with this specialization we can talk and at the same time we can do other things animals cannot do that right animals can only do one thing at a time so far as language is concerned right so specialization simple human can perform other tasks too while talking remember i'm talking about language right arbitrariness now this is a very important concept because this is going to take us to the father of linguistics saussure what is arbitrariness saussure said that the moment i say t r e e and the image which comes in your mind is not inherent you learnt it somebody taught you that's why when small children go to market they ask lot of questions papa ye kya hai bhaiya wo kya hai dada wo kya hai ye kya hai ye kya hai because unko tree bolte hi samajh mein nahi aayega na tree kya hai right to agar words ke mein aur image mein connection hota to jaise hi main aapko bolta tree ya marker right aapke dimag mein aa jata right aur main bolu hupla dubla aapke dimag mein kuch nahi aayega because those words don't exist ab ye image kyun nahi aayi dimag mein because remember in human communication model words are arbitrary there is no inherent inbuilt by birth connection between a term between a concept jaise main aapko ek example deta hu when people go in special services like jasusi ki duniya mein chale jate hain especially indian army ke liye aapne dekhi hogi na kuch movies like uh, um, holiday baby sleeping cell and all wo kaise baat karte hain wo bolte hain ha bird aa gaya hai right bird restaurant mein baitha hai aapko lage ki are bird aa gaya <laughs> bird ka matlab to kuch aur hota hai but un logo ke liye kuch aur hota hai wo bomb ko bomb nahi bolenge wo bolenge badi toffee padi hai आपको लगेगा टॉफी पड़ी है तो जल्दी से खा जाता हूं राइट बट उनके लिए टॉफी कम दे हैव डिफाइड सो दैट दे यूज इन अ कोडेड लैंग्वेज राइट आप आपके रूममेट के साथ बैठे हैं और तीसरा आदमी आपके रूम में आ गया और आपको नहीं पसंद है वो आदमी अब आप सीधे सीधे तो बोलोगे नहीं तो आपने कुछ कोड बना रखे हैं अपने रूममेट के साथ राइट ये जो कोडेड लैंग्वेज है ये हम कर सकते हैं ह्यूमन बींग इज इट इज अगेन रिलेटेड विथ क्रिएटिविटी right because this is also associated with arbitrariness this concept we are going to expansionally teach you when we are going to come to social right so redundancy now this word has two meanings redundancy is when i speak a sentence like this are you coming tomorrow for the linguistic workshop too look at this language and the sentence carefully i am using r helping verb at the beginning to ensure that it is a interrogative sentence then i have interrogative mark also at the end aur main bolunga bhi kis tone mein are bhai kal aa rahe ho na bolunga bhi kaise tone mein rising tone mein questions are supposed to be uttered and spoken in a different tone from statements aa rahe ho na ab maine ye nahi bola kya aa rahe ho na but jaise maine bola hai tone ke hisab se bhi aapko language ki variety pata chal jati hai janwar ye nahi kar sakte aapne wo movie dekhi na pk पीके में वो मजाक बनाता है अरे भाई तुम्हारे गोले पे तो लोग हाँ, 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 इन तीनों के भी अलग अलग मीनिंग होते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly वही है रिडेंडेंसी आपने वो लैंग्वेज वो शब्द कैसे बोला है किस टोन में बोला है लर्न इट फ्रॉम आवर मदर्स माय मदर वेन इज एंग्री मेरा नाम बड़ी अलग लय में लेती है जब आप सुबह एक बार उठ गए तो प्यार से बोलेगी महेश बेटा उठ जा फिर आप एक घंटे में नहीं उठे तो उनका महेश बोलने का तरीका बदलता रहता है बदलता रहता है बदलता रहता है 
राइट तो मुझे टोन से पता चल जाता है दैट बिफोर इट्स टू डेंजरस नाउ लेट्स गेट अप राइट रिटेंडेंस this i'm skipping because you'll be able to now discreteness this is also something associated with what i just human beings are capable to differentiate between every sound because based on that every sound they are capable to produce certain words and letters right so discreteness now look at that what are other words for discreteness separateness distinctiveness indivisibility severity particularity distinctiveness singularity distinction look at these three sounds pa a t how many words we can make i just taught you that right so the sounds in linguistics are discrete that's where a student of linguistics has to work very hard राइट right? कभी कभी होता है ना आ, दूसरे कंट्री के लैंग्वेज के स्टूडेंट्स को क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है समटाइम दे कैन नॉट प्रोनाउंस अ लेटर प्रॉपरली फॉर इंस्टेंस इन इंडिया इफ यू गो टू एनी प्लेस एंड द वे यू विल स्पीक द वर्ड प्लेजर राइट इट विल टेल फ्रॉम विच पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री यू आर कमिंग इन यूपी हियर इफ यूल टॉक टू यू होता है ना एकदम टिपिकल यूपी के पीपल दिल से माई प्लेजर सर so they will draw their jaw and they'll say plajar so it will come like that you will go to calcutta or the posh you know sophisticated societies they will say it in a very different tone where the tongue will touch at the back of your teeth and they'll say plajar right so the za sound which is available in french language but very rarely mastered by indians ab log english seekh lete hain but koi na koi word mein apne kachre ho jate hain प्रोनाउंसिएशन के चक्कर में मुझसे श और स नहीं बोला जाता राइट right? तो आपको भी ऐसा कोई लेटर परेशान कर रहा होगा अगर ऐसा कोई लेटर आपको परेशान करता है उसका भी सॉल्यूशन विल बी टेलिंग यू इन फोनेटिक्स क्लासेस दैट नीड वी नीड अ लैब फॉर दैट विच वी आर डेवलपिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर डेवलपिंग अ लैंग्वेज लैब फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू वेर बाय द वे हियर फॉर आवर वर्कशॉप विल नॉट इवन नीड दैट वी विल गिव यू सर्टेन सॉफ्टवेयर विच यू कैन इंस्टॉल इन योर मोबाइल एंड लिसन टू दोज साउंड वेरी केयरफुली राइट अदरवाइज यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग बट यू विल मिस प्रोनाउंस दिस वर्ड फॉर इंस्टेंस येस्टरडे आई थी मक्रॉस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वर्ड इस वर्ड को आप कैसे प्रोनाउंस करते हो शू राइट ऐसे ही बोलते हैं ना हम शू तो आप मुझे बताइए आप इस वर्ड को कैसे प्रोनाउंस करोगे ये तो बेको बना रहा अपने आप को और मुझे भी कि आप थोड़ा सा ऐसा आप तो सर ये तो शू है ये शू है ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं इससे क्या बना है इससे बना है मशीन कौन सी मशीन यस yes. तो उसको हम शूइंग मशीन नहीं बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं सोइंग मशीन ये शू नहीं है ये शो है अब ये वाला शो नहीं है ना ये वाला शो है ये जो वैरायटी है ना इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज की ये नॉन नेटिव स्पीकर्स के लिए प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करती है है ना वही है शंकर वाला शर या सड़क वाला शर राइट श जो संस्कृत और हिंदी में अवेलेबल है वो इंग्लिश में भी है मैं ये तो नहीं कहूंगा कि आप इस वर्कशॉप में ये सब कुछ सीख जाएंगे बट या यू विल गेट बेटर अ बिग बेटर बिकॉज वी विल स्टार्ट टू टेल यू कि एक चीज ध्यान रखिएगा जब भी आप इंग्लिश के साउंड बोलते हैं इट्स कंट्रोल्ड बाई योर माउथ एंड योर टमी एंड हियर फ्रॉम योर लिरिंग्स फॉर इंस्टेंस लुक एट द फ्यू साउंड विच आई एम स्पीकिंग प ब ट ड क ग तो जब मैं प ब बोलूंगा आई एम यूजिंग बोथ माई लिप्स ठीक है बोल के देखते हैं एक बार बोलिए मेरे साथ प ब दोनों में एक साथ एक ही जगह टच हो रहा है ठीक है मैं फिर बोल रहा हूं प ब अब बोलिए ट ड अब एक बार साथ बोलते हैं प ब तो मैं फिर बोल रहा हूं आप मत बोलिए सुनिए प ब ट ड क ग ये बाबा रामदेव का योगा नहीं था ये जो साउंड मैंने प्रोड्यूस किया ये सिंग में आता है जब आपको सिंग बोलना है ना तो ये साउंड है राइट तो अगर आप सुबह दो बार पानी पीने के बाद इन साउंड्स का प्रयास करेंगे राइट तो सुबह दो बार और शाम को दो बार 
आपकी प्रोनाउंसिएशन बिल्कुल अच्छी हो जाएगी अ प्रेस्क्रिप्शन राइट दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ द फोनेटिक्स क्लासेस वी विल डू दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल वर्कशॉप वी विल टेल यू कि कौन से साउंड में आपको किस पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी को टच करना है किसको नहीं करना है जो आपको ज्यादा साउंड परेशान करती है हम उसको ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस करेंगे तो आपको थोड़ा सा फर्क पड़ जाए राइट एनीवेज रिफ्लेक्सिवनेस रिफ्लेक्सिव जब आप मिरर के सामने खड़े होते हैं द मिरर रिफ्लेक्ट योर इमेज यू आर कैपेबल टू सी योर सेल्फ इन टू द मिरर ह्यूमन बींग्स आर दी ओनली पीपल पॉसिबली ऑन प्लेनेट अर्थ वो रीड अबाउट द लैंग्वेज द लैंग्वेज अबाउट द लैंग्वेज सो आई कैन राइट अ बुक द लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वेन आई राइट अ बुक लाइक दैट दिस इज अ रिफ्लेक्सिव बुक a language a linguistic books about linguistics right animals don't do that a they don't even read and write so their life is great our life is tortured i come to the second part dimensions of linguistics right now i am not saying branches of linguistics i am not saying types of linguistics what i am saying dimensions, dimensions of linguistics now this those of you who have to understand more those who are in senior classes and if you are planning to do any research during your mphil or phd when you pick up a topic especially when you pick up a comparative topic of tibetan or sanskrit or english or hindi text what are the words you have to be very careful i am not saying that others don't have to but those of you who are thinking about anything comparative or anything you have to understand it very very well right let me make simplify it some of them are not very important because they are understood so i'll not talk a lot about that but some of them are very very important so we will talk about that right for instance if i say a uh, one writer which i hope all of you know here is william shakespeare right if i say that you have to do an mphil on William Shakespeare's English. Now there can be two kind of topic. एक आप अपने टॉपिक का नाम दे सकते हैं द सिंक्रोनिक स्टडी ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर प्लेस वहां देखिए दूसरा नाम आप दे सकते हैं द डायक्रोनिक स्टडी ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर प्लेस तीसरा नाम आप दे सकते हैं द कंपेरेटिव स्टडी ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर एंड सम अदर ऑथर राइट right? अब ये क्या है क्या डिफरेंस आ जाता है बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस आ जाता है तो इसको ध्यान से देखिए आप मैं पहले वो इजीली समझा देता हूं जो इजी है जैसे कंपैरेटिव है कंपैरेटिव लिंग्विस्टिक्स क्या होती है वेन एवर यू पिक अप टू लैंग्वेजेस राइट आई एम नॉट सेइंग डायलेक्ट्स टू लैंग्वेजेस टू लिटरेचर्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन डिस्ट्रिक्टिवली डिफरेंट कंट्रीज दो दे मे कम फ्रॉम द सेम फैमिली राइट लाइक जर्मेनिक ट्राइब राइट right? तो मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल दूं देखिए लैंग्वेजेस कैसे ट्रेवल करती है डेनियल जोन्स का नाम आपने सुना है डेनियल जोन्स जे ओ एन ई एस वो कॉलोनियल मास्टर थे जो इंडिया आए और भगवत गीता का सबसे पहले ट्रांसलेशन उन्होंने किया उन्होंने जब इंग्लिशमैन थे संस्कृत बहुत अच्छी बोलते थे और इंडिया आए तो उन्होंने कमाल का पैटर्न पर किताब लिखी क्या पैटर्न था उन्होंने देखा कि संस्कृत में जो मात्र वर्ड है राइट right? वो रोमन्स में मैटर बना और इंग्लिश में जाके मदर बन गया संस्कृत में जो भात्र वर्ड है वो रोमन्स उसको बोलते हैं बेटर रोमन्स मतलब लेटिन लैंग्वेज राइट और इंग्लिश में जाके बन गया ब्रदर संस्कृत में जो पित्र वर्ड है वो रोमन लैंग्वेज में जाके बना पैटर और इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज में आके बन गया फादर ऐसे करके उन्होंने पूरी लिस्ट दी और उन्होंने ये बोला कि ये जो सिविलाइजेशन एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ट्रेवल की स्पेशली यू नो रोमन सिविलाइजेशन हैड कंट्रोल्ड ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आफ्टर दैट ऑफ कोर्स इट वाज ब्रिटिशर्स दैट्स व्हाई वी से द सन नेवर सेट राइट सो रिमेंबर व्हेन लैंग्वेजेस ट्रेवल फ्रॉम वन कंट्री टू अनदर दे लर्न फ्रॉम कंट्रीज संस्कृत गेव अ लॉट ऑफ टर्म्स टू रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड दे लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दैट वेन यू डू अ कंपेरेटिव स्टडी लाइक दिस when you are comparing sanskrit with latin with english and so and so forth you are a student of comparative linguistics i hope i made myself clear to pehle wo alag kar dete hain jo thode aasan hai fir we will talk a lot about important concepts right then comes applied linguistics 
it sounds like something you apply practical you learn the rules of linguistics right now when i was growing up and i i was very interested in literature and i hated linguistics always right so i never attended any linguistics class but when i went to the higher education i realized that when you analyze a literary text when you apply meter when you try to find out the theme when you try to find out the tone and intonation how to recite drama when you want to speak even something you are using linguistics everywhere but not the rules of linguistics applied linguistics right jaisa main hindi bhasha kshetra mein paida hua मुझे किसी ने हिंदी की ग्रामर नहीं पढ़ाई बट मैं हमेशा बोलता था राम जाता है सीता जाती है किसी ने मुझे नहीं पढ़ाया था कि राम जाती है नहीं बोलना है मैंने अपने आप सीख लिया आपने भी तिब्बतियन या जो भी लैंग्वेज आप बोलते हैं अपने आप सीखी ना किसी ने क्या आपने पहले ग्रामर के रूल पढ़े क्या आपकी मम्मी ने आप छोटे थे फैला के बोला कि अब मैं तुझे सारी व्यंजना और ये और ये सिखाऊंगा the kids will die they will say i will not grow up <laughs> if this is the word where you are going to torture like this for languages i will not grow up i will be kid but that does not happen right so applied linguistics is you learn linguistics and you apply it in the life in literature in analyzing the text right this is not so limited but i will be giving you separate lectures anyhow on applied linguistics right now i am just ear marking the word which we can understand easily right applied linguistics is also clear application of linguistics in cultural studies in media studies in lot of for instance you can even do a research on linguistic applied linguistic analysis on the advertisement of indian tv right the dialogue delivery of salman khan the language which they use remember when we use certain jokes ki are salman khan ki mimicry karke batana aur tab aap salman khan ki tarah chalte hue aate hain aur bolte ho main dil mein aata hu samajh mein nahi hai and all that bullshit ye aapne kya kiya main aapko bolu ha bhai amitabh bachchan banna aur aap hai ye ye kya hai ye sab applied linguistics hai wo language ka part hai body language bhi language ka part hai राइट right? मुझे नहीं पता आप करते हो या नहीं हम छोटे थे तो टीचर की बहुत मिमिक्री करते थे सारे जितने टीचर थे उन सबको अलग अलग मिमिक्री जब तक टीचर नहीं आ रहा है टाइम पास कैसे करेंगे क्लास में ऐसे ही करते थे ये जो हम करते थे ना ये अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक्स है बिकॉज द वे यू स्पीक द वे यू स्टैंड द वे यू टॉक राइट एवरी थिंग आई एम नॉट सेव टू इमिटेट द साउंड ऑफ दैट टीचर बट द वे यू डू दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक्स Are we clear about this also? Then let's go to these two easy terms: theoretical linguistic and descriptive linguistic. When you describe the rules of language, it's descriptive. Journal linguistic, right? So, I'll tell you the rules of language. Yes, brother. Ram goes, they go, right? She goes. These are all descriptive linguistics. But when I talk about particular language theories, but look. राम जाता है राम गोज राइट सो वेन यू अप्लाई सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट एडजंक्ट एंड द कैटेगरीज लाइक दिस सो फार एज ग्रामर इज कंसर्न वन लैंग्वेज डिफर्स फ्रॉम अदर कुछ लैंग्वेजेस में वर्ब पहले आती है ऑब्जेक्ट के कुछ लैंग्वेजेस में ऑब्जेक्ट बाद में आता है वो भी हम आपको पढ़ाएंगे जब ऐसा आप पढ़ाई कर रहे हो तो थियोरेटिकल हो गया तो मैं फिर से रिपीट करता हूं कंपेरेटिव हम समझ गए अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक हम समझ गए थियोरेटिकल हम समझ गए डेस्क्रिप्टिव हम समझ गए आप बोलो सर जबरदस्ती क्यों कर रहे हैं नहीं समझे हम तो तो कोई बात नहीं इसमें पीपीटी है आई हैव टू गो अकॉर्डिंग टू टाइम राइट तो ये आसानी से आप समझ जाओगे मुझे पता है कुछ चीजें आप पीपीटी पढ़ के समझ जाओगे सो लेट्स नॉट यूज अवर टाइम फॉर दैट आई एम मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन वॉट सोशल डेट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन डायक्रोनिक एंड सिंक्रोनिक ये दो टर्म देखिए ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म है राइट right? इन टर्म को समझने के लिए सिंपल सा मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूं आपने एप्पल खरीदा हॉस्टल में लाए और एप्पल को काटा अगर मैं आप सबके हाथ में एप्पल दूं और आप काटोगे तो आप एक ही तरीके से काटोगे एप्पल को हम कैसे काटते हैं आप बोलो सर क्या स्टूपिड क्वेश्चन है सर लेट मी टेल यू नॉट आस्किंग एप्पल से भी अच्छा लेमन की बात करते हैं ये लेमन है ठीक है आप लेमन को ऐसे काटोगे या ऐसे काटोगे ये एप्पल है सॉरी लेमन है हम मोस्टली इसको ऐसे काटते हैं क्या ये रूल हमें किसी ने सिखाया 
भाई और ये दुनिया में कहीं भी चले जाइए लेमन को ऐसे ही काटते कोई लेमन को ऐसे नहीं काटता हाँ कुछ मूर्ख होते हैं मेरी तरह जो काट लेते हैं बाकी सब लेमन को एप्पल को भी ये हमें किसने सिखाया है इसको आपने कैसे काटा ये समझ लीजिए यही सिंक्रोनिक होता है तो ध्यान से सुनिएगा आप मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं वेन यू आर गोइंग टू डू द स्टडी ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर टर्म इन अ पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जब आप लेमन को ऐसे काट दो ऊपर से तो अजीब सा दिखेगा ना लेमन ऐसे काटोगे तो बड़ा अजीब सा दिखेगा और आपको उसको निचोड़ना भी यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू स्क्वीज इट अच्छा अब ये किसने सिखाया ये कहां से सीखा हमने वी कैन इजीली स्क्वीज इट अगर बीच में से काटा है तो इजीली स्क्वीज इट अगर ऐसे काटोगे यू विल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू स्क्वीज इट राइट दूसरा देखिए आपने लेमन स्क्वीजर देखा है एक मशीन आती है ना उसका शेप भी कैसा होता है ऐसा राउंड अगर आपने लेमन को ऐसे काट दिया है तो लेमन ऐसा हो जाएगा और वो स्क्वीज होने में प्रॉब्लम होगा राइट अब देखिए ह्यूमन नेचर कुछ चीजें अपने आप सीखता है राइट तो जब आप लैंग्वेज की स्टडी ऐसे करो कि हाँ भाई 2019 में नए वर्ड्स कौन कौन से आए हैं सेल्फी आया है सेल्फी वर्ड की कोई हिस्ट्री नहीं है अगर मैं आपको बोलू राइट अ डिजर्टेशन ऑन द ग्रोथ ऑफ द वर्ड सेल्फी आप अगर दो के पहले चले जाओगे ये वर्ड आपको डिक्शनरी में भी नहीं मिलेगा You cannot do a diachronic study. जैसे नींबू को नॉर्मली काटते हैं यू कैन नॉट डू अ डायक्रॉनिक स्टडी यू हैव टू डू दिंक्रॉनिक स्टडी मैं अभी बताऊंगा अभी सिर्फ समझिए एक होता है कि नहीं सर मुझे जो प्रेमचंद की हिंदी पे काम करना है मैं 1920, 1910, 1890 में जाके देखूंगा कि प्रेमचंद का लिटरेचर किस भाषा से निकल के आया है Yes, you can do. When you can do the historical analysis of a text, we call it diachronic. When you cut the lemon like this, that means ear की तरह काट दिया. जैसे केक है. दूसरा एग्जाम. कुछ चीजें बड़े कमाल की हैं. हमें ऑब्जर्व करना आना चाहिए. बर्थडे केक काटा आप सबने? कोई ऐसा है कि जैसे ही आपको बर्थडे केक दिया, आपने लिया चाकू और ऐसे काटा. और बोला अरे ये ऊपर की क्रीम तो चली गई नीचे तो क्या हम केक को ऐसे काटते हैं क्या हमें किसी ने सिखाया केक को आप कैसे काटेंगे ऐसे ही काटेंगे ना आई होप सो आई होप दैट वट एवर आई एम मेकिंग सेंस राइट केक को हम कभी ऐसे नहीं काटते हैं तो ये ध्यान से सुनिए जैसे आप केक को नहीं काटते हैं वो है हिस्टोरिकल डायक्रॉनिक वो आप नहीं करते हैं केक को आप सिंक्रॉनिक काटते हैं सिंक्रॉनिक का मतलब है एक पर्टिकुलर ईयर में एक पर्टिकुलर कम्युनिटी की स्टडी तो अगर मैं बोलूं सेल्फी वर्ड पे डिजर्टेशन लिखिए और आप बोलो कि 2018 में ये वर्ड इतनी बार यूज हुआ और 2019 में इसे वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर का अवार्ड मिला तो आपने कौन सी स्टडी की सिंक्रॉनिक स्टडी राइट बट अगर आप बोलो नहीं सर यह वर्ड सेल्फ से आया है सेल्फ को ले लेना सेल्फी होता है तो मैं बोलूंगा बट सेल्फी में तो लोग दूसरों को भी लेते हैं अपने साथ लेते हैं ना कहते हैं ना कि आओ सेल्फी लें और आई टेक ऑल ऑफ योर फोटो नाउ लुक एट द कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन ऑफ एन इंग्लिश वर्ड द वर्ड से सेल्फी व्हिच मीन सेल्फ एंड आई एम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम पुटिंग अदर्स आल्सो इन दिस देन हाउ इट कैन बी अ सेल्फ बट देन यू कैन से बट सर मोबाइल तो मारो है दैट मींस इट्स माय मोबाइल बिकॉज़ इट्स माय मोबाइल आई एम टेकिंग अ सेल्फी रिमेंबर अ पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग अ सेल्फी एक्सरसाइज पावर ऑन यू क्या पावर आपको लगता है कि बड़ा इनोसेंट सा चीज है नहीं अगर मैंने बोला कि हाँ भाई सेल्फी लेंगे मैं डिसाइड करूंगा आप कैसे खड़े होगे मैं डिसाइड करूंगा किधर खड़े होगे मैं डिसाइड करूंगा मुंह कैसा बनाना और कैसे खड़ा होगा होता है ना ऐसा सोच के देखिए थोड़ा सा कल्चरल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ कैन बी ह्यूमरस बट दे आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी डोंट थिंक अबाउट दैम they look very naive and innocent but they are not they are very very powerful categories so remember the term selfie is not innocent i and let let me not go into political and cultural aspect of the words let me come to the concept so i will only talk to you about synchronic and diachronic others you can read for look at that general linguistic descriptive linguistic you will understand when you read it let's talk about this right to understand this let me show you this example first look at that ye dekhiye right ye jis tarah se kata hai upar se ye dekhiye diachronic is 
हिस्टोरिकल लिंग्विस्टिक्स सिंक्रोनिक एज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम इससे भी अच्छा ये वाला एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं ये देखिए आपने आपको ग्रामर में ये पता है कि सिंस कहां यूज करते हैं और फोर कहां यूज करते हैं <coughs> याद आया ना कुछ सिंस और फोर कहां यूज करते हैं सिंस कहां यूज करते हैं तो मुझे ये बताओ सिंक्रोनिक सिंस होगा या डायक्रोनिक सिंस होगा देखिए ध्यान से सिंक्रोनिक सिंस होगा तो एक चीज हा नहीं सिंस आप कहा यूज करते हैं देखिए सिंस हम यूज करते हैं पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम राइट एंड डाय और फोर हम यूज करते हैं पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो आई से आई हैव बीन वर्किंग हियर फॉर लास्ट फॉर थ्री इयर्स आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग फॉर टू आवर्स राइट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बट आई से आई एम वर्किंग हियर सिंस टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो आई हैव कट इट लाइक दिस ठीक है अब देखिए दो तीन चीजें याद रखिएगा ये कॉन्सेप्ट सोश्योर ने दिया सोश्योर का स्पेलिंग किससे शुरू होता है एस से सोश्योर को पसंद था को क्या पसंद होगा सिंक्रोनिक अच्छा अब इसका कारण ये नहीं है क्योंकि उसकी स्पेलिंग एस से शुरू होती थी मैं सिर्फ याद रखने का एक तरीका बता रहा हूं सोश्योर गेव दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड सोश्योर सेड दैट सिंक्रोनिक स्टडी इज अ बेटर स्टडी बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव टू गो टू हिस्टोरिकल बुक्स टू रीड समथिंग राइट सो सिंक्रोनिक स्टडी इज लाइक पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम को हम सिंस बोलते हैं सिंस बोलते हैं ना तो ध्यान से देखिए सिंस सोश्योर एंड सिंक्रोनिक राइट डायक्रोनिक क्या होगा डाया आप में से कुछ लोग अगर साइंस से हैं तो आपको पता है कि जब साइंस की लैब में आप काट छाट करते हैं कभी मेंढक काटा है मछली काटी है तो आपको पता है कि उसे डाइसेक्शन बोलते हैं वर्ड याद आया ना डाइसेक्शन डाया मतलब इस तरह से काट देना जैसे हम नींबू को काटते हैं राइट right? तो मैं ये बता सकता हूं कि नींबू को हिस्टोरिकली काटा पहले यहां से कटना शुरू हुआ फिर कटता गया कटता गया कटता गया उन्नीस से उन्नीस तक काटा इस जैसे एन एग्जाम्पल इतना लंबा हम नींबू नहीं काटते हैं जैसे एन एग्जाम्पल Right? So this kind of study, which is a historical study, is known as diachronic study. Now let me come to the point. If I say that as a student, I'm working on diachronic study of William Shakespeare's plays, and I say I'm working on synchronic study of William Shakespeare's play, synchronic क्या होगा? जब मैं सिर्फ Elizabethan era में Shakespeare के play पढूँगा, सिर्फ Elizabethan era में, उसी era में, 1604. Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear, Othello in 1604. I will not go in 1603. I will not go in 15th century. But then people will say, but Shakespeare has learned everything from Christopher Marlowe. There is a history. Let's go to Chaucer. You got my point. When I will go back to Chaucer, then go to University Wits, then come to Shakespeare, then I am doing a diachronic study. तो थोड़ा सा समझ में आया? Diachronic analysis is the historical analysis synchronic analysis is done at that particular s se word dekhiye specific time right to fir main kuch example deta hu aapko so look at here diachronic and synchronic linguistics diachronic traces the historical development of the language and records the changes that have taken place in it between successive point in time diachronic is equivalent to historical ठीक है डाइसेक्शन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्ट टू लैंग्वेज थ्रू आउट द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी सिंक्रोनिक क्या है ये सोशोर ने चेंज लाया नॉन हिस्टोरिकल प्रेजेंट्स एन अकाउंट ऑफ द लैंग्वेज एज इट इज एट सम पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इन टाइम राइट सिंस I am teaching here since 2018. So I have specifically told you, don't go in 2017, don't go on 2019, 2018. Precisely October 2018. So I have put a nail, right? अब देखिए ये माइ कैसे खड़ा है? तो ये क्या है? Synchronic है, diachronic है? Synchronic है. ये माइ कैसे हो गया? तो अब क्या हो गया? Diachronic हो गया. तो मैं यहां से यहां तक स्टडी करूं तो डायक्रोनिक है मैं इस पॉइंट पे स्टडी करूं तो सिंक्रोनिक है 
तो अभी ये कैसे खड़ा है सिंक्रोनिकली मोबाइल को आप डायक्रोनिकली रखते हो या सिंक्रोनिकली रखते हो राइट नॉर्मली बट जब स्टैंड में खड़ा करते हो तो इट इज ऑलवेज एम आई मेकिंग सेंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज आई फेस द सेम प्रॉब्लम आई ऑलवेज टेल माई स्टूडेंट वेन एवर यू आर टीचिंग यूर स्टूडेंट दे कीप द सेम इमोशन ऑन दर फेस and i'm teaching them i'll say inko samajh mein aa raha hai samajh mein aa raha hai you look let like like this. you have to change your expressions to tell me that you are getting it or so am i clear about this yes, synchronic diachronic a very very important distinction of sociore right we will come back to sociore when we will be teaching you structuralism post structuralism and we'll teach you we will give you a lot of poems also and apply this on english poetry also so i will come back and apply diachronic and that time i'll not tell you diachronic i will only say let's do a diachronic study or synchronic study of this poem that time don't ask me ki sir ye kya hota hai am i clear so diachronic is historical view point right so road diachronic hoti hai synchronic hoti hai ठीक है ना बट टावर डायक्रोनिक होता है या सिंक्रोनिक होता है राइट बड़ी बड़ी बिल्डिंग जो बॉम्बे में बनी हुई है वो डायक्रोनिक है या सिंक्रोनिक है बट रेलवे की पटरी कैसी है कितने कमाल के स्टूडेंट हो यू नो एवरीथिंग राइट सो द सेम थिंग आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हियर प्लीज रीड इट दिस ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन सो आई एम स्कीपिंग दिस अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक स्पीक माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो right this is something pretty interesting micro and macro right aapne microwave ka naam suna hai kya hota hai microwave kya karta hai khana garam karta hai right fir khane ko bake kaun karta hai khane ko fry kaun karta hai aapne naam suna hoga ek to hota hai microwave ek hota hai otg microwave oven राइट right? ग्रिल भी करता है तो ओ टी जी माइक्रोवे माइक्रो हमेशा होता है छोटा रूप जैसे मैं आपके मोबाइल को बिल्कुल छोटा कर दू राइट right? जैसे जब वेन आई वॉज लाइक इन अराउंड लेट से नाइनटीन नाइनटीज वेन फर्स्ट टाइम मोबाइल एट कम ये मोटे मोटे मोबाइल आते ईट <laughs> की तरह सूट केस में <laughs> उस मोबाइल को सूट केस में रख के ले जाना पड़ता है राइट right? और सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम फोन करो तो भी पैसा लगना है और फोन आ गया तो भी पैसा लगना है <laughs> तो फूफा जी और भुआ जी का फोन आता तो हम उठाते ही नहीं थे इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है सिर्फ मम्मी पापा को उठाना बिकॉज इट कैन बी पुटी कॉस्टली then we have entered today today this era is nanotechnology era micro se bhi chhota ek term sikhiye nanotechnology aajkal to bacche bhi test tube baby mein paida ho jate hain itne se right so we are going towards a society jahan sab kuch chhota hota ja raha hai human relationship bhi bahut chote hote ja rahe hain हमारा एक दूसरे की तरफ कंपेशन भी बहुत छोटा होता जा रहा है आपने टाइपिंग कर कर के वर्ड्स को भी बहुत छोटा कर दिया है <laughs> प्रोफेसर को भी पी आर ओ एफ एस एस ओ आर नहीं लिखते हैं आप राइट <laughs> प्रॉप <Right? Prof. laughs> बहुत है राइट right? तो ये जो चीजें छोटी हो रही है ना लिंग्विस्टिक्स इसको लेके बड़ा चिंतित है लिंग्विस्टिक्स वॉज नॉट रेडी टू सी दिस रेडिकल चेंज विच टेक्नोलॉजी हैज ब्रॉड Especially WhatsApp has ruined linguistics. Noam Chomsky के भूत ने भी कभी नहीं सोचा होगा कि 2010 या 2015 तक लोग ऐसे टाइप करेंगे आजकल आप कैसे टाइप करते हो पहले हमें लगता था कि इतना बड़ा कीबोर्ड होना चाहिए ताकि मैं आराम से टाइप करूं आजकल आप उससे तेज एक अंगुली से खटके राइट दो वी आर लाफिंग ऑन दिस बट नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस is this revolution changing the acceptability of the language is it giving us an alarming tone that the language which was about diversity about richness about beauty it somewhere or other is cutting down chetan bhagat ka ek novel utha ke padhiye ek title hai five point someone kya title hai five points aapne padha hai ye novel चेतन भगत इसलिए बोल रहा हूं कि कुछ और बोलूंगा तुम पढ़ते नहीं हो चेतन भगत जरूर पढ़ा होगा फाइव पॉइंट समवन इज वॉट इट इज अबाउट द जिसपे थ्री इडियट मूवी बनी है थ्री इडियट मूवी तो देखिए ना 
आईआईटी में फाइव पॉइंटर का मतलब है 99% से ऊपर वाला फाइव पॉइंट तो फाइव पॉइंट समवन नाउ हैज बिकम एन आइडेंटिटी आईआईटीज में कैसे बोलते हैं बॉस सुपर बॉस स्टूडेंट को नाम से नहीं बुलाते हम लोगों ने हर चीज को छोटा कर दिया है हमारी जो लिंग्विस्टिक कंपिटेंसी है राइट right? वो छोटी हो गई है हमें पसंद नहीं है कि लोग ज्यादा बोले अभी आप यहाँ बैठे हैं तो मन में मुझे गाली तो बहुत दे रहे होंगे कि अरे इस उन्होंने तो बोला था ढाई से साढ़े तीन और ये बग 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 यही जा रहा है रुक ही नहीं रहा है लैंग्वेज वी आर नॉट हैबिचुअल टू लिसन टू इलाबरेटिव लैंग्वेजेस अगर मैं आपको एक मूवी का ऑप्शन दू कि एक मूवी एक घंटे में खत्म हो रही है इंटरेस्टिंग है एक मूवी दो घंटे में खत्म हो रही है एक तीन घंटे में एक सात घंटे में राइट मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल लव टू गो फॉर अ मूवी विच कैन फिनिश इन वन आवर right look at a cultural change which is coming we have come out of the era of cinema theaters and we have entered into era of netflix we have entered into era of amazon aur uska naam kya rakha hai basics amazon basics prime where everything has come down to minimal use of language that's what you do when you type a message on whatsapp राइट right? ग्रेट अगर मुझे लिखना है तो मैं कैसे लिखता हूं ग्रेट राइट परसों मेरा एक स्टूडेंट बोला कि सर मेरी पीडी आपके पास है तो मैंने सोचा यार मैंने पीडी ले लिया क्या किसी का क्या होता है पीडी अब इज्जत खराब हो जाती है मैं टीचर हूं मैंने कहा हाँ ठीक है मैं कल लेके आऊंगा फिर मैं रात भर सोचता रहा कि बाप रे क्या ले लिया मैंने उसका फिर मैंने सोचा कि आजकल के जनरेशन की लैंग्वेज है गूगल करके देखता हूँ कि पीडी क्या तो पीडी पे सारे डिजीज के नाम आ गए गूगल क्या करेगा जो ज्यादा सर्च होता है मुझे दस बारह बीमारियों के नाम बता दिया मैंने कहा नहीं नहीं ये तो कुछ गलत मिस हो रहा है राइट right? फिर मैंने मेरा छोटा भाई है थोड़ा सा टेक्नोलॉजिकल है मैंने कहा स्मार्ट भाई स्मार्ट है देखिए मैंने क्या पूछा मैंने नहीं पूछा पीटी किसको कहते हैं इज्जत खराब हो जाएगी मैंने बोला मैंने लास्ट ईयर तेरे को पीटी दी थी ना राइट right? कहा है वो बोला तूने मुझे कब पीटी दी तो मैंने कहा यार ये तो पीटी बता ही नहीं रहा है ये तो पीटी का आंसर पीटी पता कैसे चलेगा फिर थोड़ा घुमा फिरा के उसने बोला कि हाँ ठीक है पेन ड्राइव मेरे पास हो तो मैं देख के बताऊंगा तो मुझे लगा हाँ पीटी The the way we are laughing on this conversation, which I just told you, again puts a very, very important idea in front of all of us. If language is going to shrink like this, remember what is going to happen to the novels. I grew up in this century where we used to read Leo Tolstoy of 800 pages. You are reading a novel of 200 pages. and after 10 years 20 years all of us are going to read a novel on mobile in form of whatsapp messages <laughs> trust me you are laughing on this ha bahut asre bhai sahab aap but trust me that's what is going to happen blogs small stories short stories are going to be so short that language is going to be diminishing very soon before it's too late I hope that we understand that we have to make a switch from micro linguistics to macro linguistics, right? Jasmeet sir will be giving you most of the lectures on micro linguistics, and I will be giving most of the lectures on macro linguistics because I strongly believe that आप चाहे मजाक से किसी को कुछ सिखाइए, right? But आप languages को खत्म मत होने दीजिए, right? वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हियर वंस एंटर्ड इन माई कैबिन उनको कहीं से पता चला कि एक सारे बड़ी अंग्रेजी दिखाते हैं अपनी तो मेरे पास आया और मुझे बोला सर ये मेरा आर्टिकल थोड़ा सा चेक कर दीजिएगा मैंने कहा ठीक है डोंट वरी कल आ जाना और आर्टिकल इंग्लिश में लिखा हुआ था और आर्टिकल किस पे लिखा हुआ था भोट शास्त्र एंड लैंग्वेज वर्सेज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज अब मैं उसको पढ़ने लगा उस स्टूडेंट ने मुझे इसलिए आर्टिकल नहीं दिया था कि वो मैं चेक करूँ वो ये चाहता था कि मैं ये समझूं बड़ा अच्छा आर्ग्यूमेंट था कि जिस दिन हम लोग अपनी भाषा छोड़ देंगे राइट और अंग्रेजी के पीछे आ जाएंगे उस दिन हमारी भाषा मर जाएगी राइट तो हम लोगों को अपनी भाषा को आई अंडरस्टूड इज कॉन्सेप्ट वेन ही केम आई सेट डाउन विथ हिम एंड आई सेट विच आई एम टेलिंग ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट इज अ वेरी रॉन्ग कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट एनी लैंग्वेज आई एम गिविंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज बिकॉज दिस क्रिटिसिज माई फेस अ लॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू नाउ एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सोशियो लिंग्विस्टिक्स 
मैं कोई भी हिंदी के कॉन्फ्रेंस में बैठता हूं लोग मुझे ऐसे देखते हैं राइट right? कि अच्छा अंग्रेजी का टीचर है और हिंदी के वर्कशॉप में आके बैठा है राइट right? तुम्हारे कारण ही तो हमारी लैंग्वेज खराब हो गई है वो मुझे ऐसे देखते हैं जैसे मैं हत्या रहा हूं और आधे घंटे बाद उनका लेक्चर सुनने के बाद मुझे भी फील होने लगता है कह रहे साला पापा ने बोला था अंग्रेजी लो ये तो गलत लैंग्वेज ले ली राइट या मैं गलत जगह आ गया हूं तब मैंने उस स्टूडेंट से पांच मिनट बात की मैंने बोला मैं बहुत प्राउड फील करता हूं कि मैं अंग्रेजी बोल सकता हूं क्योंकि एक भाषा है मैं ये चाहता हूं कि आप भी सारी भाषाएं सीखें ताकि हर भाषा को कंपेयर करके उसकी रिचनेस को एक दूसरे से लेके अपनी भाषा को उस भाषा के ऊपर रख सकें वो तब आएगा जब आप दूसरी भाषा को समझेंगे राइट आई कैन स्पीक हिंदी आई एम प्राउड टू से दैट आई राइट इन हिंदी आई कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश ऑल्सो एंड आई वुड लव टू स्पीक एंड लर्न तिब्बतियन लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो फ्रेंच ऑल्सो जर्मन ऑल्सो वाई नॉट द प्रॉब्लम इज The problem is when we start to make this watertight compartmentalization and say कि नहीं नहीं अंग्रेजी नहीं अंग्रेजी सीखने से बच्चे अंग्रेज हो जाते हैं बच्चे अपनी संस्कृति भूल जाते हैं मैं कहता हूं कि जो भारतीय अंग्रेजी भाषा के नॉवल लिख के भारत के लिए बुकर प्राइज लाए हैं वो राष्ट्रभक्त है क्यों है क्योंकि उस दिन स्वीडन की उस जगह जहां पचास हजार अंग्रेज बैठे थे उन लोगों के कारण तिरंगा ऊपर गया क्रिकेट की वो टीम जो अंग्रेजों का गेम सीखी हमारा गेम तो गिल्ली डंडा था ना बट हम जब क्रिकेट खेलते हैं राइट और जब हम वर्ल्ड कप जीतते हैं तो आज भी पूरी दुनिया सचिन तेंदुलकर को याद करती है आई एम प्राउड फॉर दैट राइट दैट डज नॉट मीन कि मैं गिल्ली डंडा को पसंद नहीं करता बट प्लीज डोंट इंपोज दिस टॉर्चर ऑन मी कि अरे आप तो अंग्रेज आप तो मोबाइल आप तो एप्पल का मोबाइल या आप तो अंग्रेजी नॉवल पढ़ते हैं प्रेमचंद को क्यों नहीं पढ़ते प्रेमचंद भी मैंने पढ़ा है राइट right? तो एक चीज तो ये समझिए दैट यू विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट यू आर गुड एट तिब्बती लैंग्वेज दैट्स अ ब्लेसिंग लेट्स लर्न दिस लैंग्वेज एंड यूज इट विथ सो मच ऑफ अथॉरिटी दैट यू कैन टेल द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट वेन आई स्पीक इंग्लिश आई स्पीक बेटर देन द नेटिव स्पीकर that is our aim as english teachers that's what we seek to do that our students are capable to have that impression right when a tibetan author who is writing in english will get a nobel prize in english or booker prize in english the whole world will consider that person as one of the greatest patriotic soul right now the example which i gave you will fall under a branch of linguistics Known as sociolinguistics, right? अब मैंने यहां आपको लिंग्विस्टिक्स के रूल तो नहीं सिखाए ना सिंटेक्स ग्रामर ये तो होती है माइक्रो लिंग्विस्टिक्स राइट छोटे छोटे रूल सिखाना जब उन पुर्जों से आप एक बड़ी कार बना लेते हो राइट तो आप ये नहीं देखते हो कह रहे मेरे कार में ये मैं स्कूटी चलाता हूं बट मैं स्कूटी खराब हो जाए तो उसे ठीक नहीं कर सकता ना मैकेनिक के पास ले जाना पड़ता है क्योंकि वो बारीकियां जानता है राइट right? आपको कुछ लिखना है सिर्फ लिखिए ग्रामर की चिंता मत कीजिए मैं एग्जांपल क्यों दे रहा हूं मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर स्केर्ड राइटिंग इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज वी आर वेटिंग फॉर दैट परफेक्ट यूटोपियन डे व्हेन माय इंग्लिश विल बी इम्पैकेबली सुपीरियर प्लीज डोंट डू दैट लेट द सटल्टीज ऑफ द लैंग्वेज एंड द माइक्रो थिंग्स लीव ऑन द टीचर्स यू जस्ट राइट यू जस्ट एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ लेट इट बी एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग इंग्लिश but be a master of macro linguistics and please don't bother about micro linguistics you got my point what i'm trying to say so what is the difference then between micro and macro micro linguistics will have these branches phonetics phonology morphology syntax semantics and pragmatics kal ka agar aapne lecture dekha hoga to aapko lagega ha sir bas ho gaya na linguistics ye to linguistics hota hai ye linguistics माइक्रो लिंग्विस्टिक्स होता है सॉरी माइक्रो लिंग्विस्टिक्स होता है मैक्रो लिंग्विस्टिक्स में क्या आता है ब्रॉड कैटेगरी लुक एट दैट साइको लिंग्विस्टिक्स सोशियो लिंग्विस्टिक्स न्यूरो लिंग्विस्टिक्स डिस्कोर्स एनालिसिस कंप्यूटेशनल लिंग्विस्टिक्स अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक्स राइट एज आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन डज लैंग्वेज एक्सरसाइज पावर is it that speaking english is considered equal to coming from the modern society living in a sophisticated era being modern knowing gadgets and all that you want to hear the answer or not but the answer is unfortunately yes 
राइट आज पूरी दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा इंग्लिश के न्यूज चैनल देखे जाते हैं राइट right? लोगों को नहीं आता है तो भी एक जब गरीब रिक्शा वाला बैठा होता है ना घर पे वो चाहता है कि मेरा बेटा इंग्लिश मीडियम में जाए वो नहीं चाह रहा है कि मेरा बेटा हिंदी मीडियम में जाए तो फिर भाषाओं के साथ क्या होगा राइट right? वही होगा जो शायद अनफॉर्चुनेटली संस्कृत और लेटिन के साथ हो गया दीज बिकम डेड लैंग्वेजेस राइट सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट अब मैं आपको एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूं मैक्रो लिंग्विस्टिक्स का One boy in Bombay, when he was growing up, he loved Ramayana and Mahabharata. He decided one day that whatever novels and stories I will write, I will write about a monkey who flies, a monkey who speaks, right, and all these things. He grew up. He got his admission at Oxford, and he started to write the novels. In his novels. monkeys were talking monkeys were flying monkeys were saving the honor of a lady right and the whole world was dazzled to see that there is a country where monkeys are capable of doing that he made the whole world no sanskrit and hindi tradition right and when salman rushdi publishes midnight children right there are sentences like this that please shut up your mouth else i'll give you a tight chapat This is the word which is in the novel. अब ये जब ब्रिटेन में पब्लिश हुआ तो ब्रिटेन के लोगों ने बोला अरे ये चपाट क्या होता है सलमान रुश्दी एट बुकर विनिंग ऑनर सेरेमनी सेड आई लर्न योर लैंग्वेज आई विल नॉट टेल यू द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ चपाट यू वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज चपाट गो एंड लर्न हिंदी He denied to put a glossary by the end of the book about Hindi. Today, when you will go to London, people know the characters of R K Narayan. They know who is Raju. They know who is Chandan, right? Because they are forced to read one country's civilization. According to me, that's what languages are capable. Of. Unfortunately, yes, you will have to talk in a language which the whole world understands today, so that you are capable to do more than less. This is not about language. This is not about teaching grammar. This is not about teaching you phonetics. This is about first teaching you the importance of a language. Unfortunately, we like it or not, English has achieved that level. I am saying, should we not give credit to English language at least for once? That there must be something in this language that it has been ruling across the globe. Right? Maybe it's its flexibility. Maybe something which fascinates. But. please pick up your stories right let tibbat be in english books let the stories of llamas and snow and yak and butter tea and masala tea everything be there so that the world will know a person like me will know ki tibbat mein paanch se 10 tarah ki chai hoti hai mujhe nahi pata agar aapko ye karna hoga to aapko duniya ke samne ek literature rakhna hoga to duniya ko ye batana hoga ki tum to ek hi tarah ki chai peete ho हम इतनी तरह की चाय बट आपको उस भाषा में बताना होगा जिस भाषा में सोशियो लिंग्विस्टिक साइकोलॉजिकल लिंग्विस्टिक्स न्यूरो लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ डिस्कोर्स एनालिसिस टुडे हियर आचार्य वी आर टीचिंग दावा नोरबू आफ्टर फ्यू डेज वन तिब्बतियन राइटर्स इज कमिंग इन आवर यूनिवर्सिटी टू टीच यू समथिंग दिस इज एन अमेजिंग थिंग दिस इज एन अमेजिंग थिंग दैट हाउ दीज राइटर्स आर टूडे marking that place in english speaking country right let's learn it from his holiness the dalai lama right a person who is so deeply rooted with the language right now why i am giving the language of dalai lama dalai lama is not a human being today he is an institution by himself is puri duniya ke ek bacche ko boliye tibbat aur wo aapko dalai lama ke photo la ke dega ye jo dalai lama ne kiya hai na puri duniya mein कि एक इंसान से एक सिविलाइजेशन ये तो महात्मा गांधी भी नहीं कर पाए थे मेरी बात समझ रहे आप और ये क्या किया कैसे किया उन्होंने बिकॉज ही वॉज पार्ट ऑफ साइको लिंग्विस्टिक्स ही वॉज पार्ट ऑफ सोशियो लिंग्विस्टिक्स ही वॉज पार्ट ऑफ एंड ही इज पार्ट ऑफ न्यूरो लिंग्विस्टिक्स राइट विथ अ स्माइलिंग फेस ही कैन स्पीक इन एज मैनी लैंग्वेजेस एज पॉसिबल इफ यू आर कैपेबल टू बो डाउन इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी Why can't you learn this basic rule from him? Right? I'm not talking about English here. I'm talking about any language besides your language, which has a bigger appeal, 
you choose to write that write your stories let the theme be yours let the character's name be something from your country and then let other people force other people to read that if you are capable to do that you have understood social linguistics you have understood neuro linguistics you have understood everything which is here visible in front of you right i can teach you grammar i can teach you how to write a proper sentence but you will have to understand this that linguistics is more than that right linguistic is about hope linguistics is about understanding that today in the world and international relationship if you will have to pose a problem you will have to curse the people in their language when william shakespeare published the play the tempest there is a white master prospero right jiska ship wreck ho jata hai aur wo ek land pe jata hai because he is white and there is a black person he says caliban you are my slave right because you are black i will teach you my language and caliban says okay sir and he teaches his language after two months caliban comes back and he says let me curse you back in the language which you taught me and he curses prospero in his language so that he understands it now that's what social linguistic is capable of doing. right please take this workshop more than it's not a grammar workshop agar aap yahan isliye aa gaye ho ki hamari angrezi achhi ho jayegi please drop this idea hum aapko jo bhi padhayenge agle ek mahine mein these are about big issues i want all of you to understand and contribute in this <coughs> to understand this yes i can do the uh, analysis of the sounds and the words and letters but linguistics is more than that linguistics is a promise silently a teacher makes to his students by the end of the lecture when they go back to hostel that yes i make a promise to myself that i will start to write recite talk in that language where i can be pretty comfortable with right now i am not but i promise to do that slowly and slowly i improve in that i am not naming any language right i am very happy when our students write poems in hindi also it gives me lot of pleasure because you are good at that one language but you have grown up you have started to write in another language to tell now remember this duality कि यार मैं इंडियन हूं जैसे मैं जब पहली बार अपना पहला कॉन्फ्रेंस में एक लेक्चर देने गया राइट सो वन अमेरिकन सेट कि अरे इंडियन होके इतना अच्छा इंग्लिश बोलते हो अब मैं इसको अपना कॉम्प्लीमेंट नहीं समझा इट वॉज एन इंसल्ट फॉर मी आई सर सर आपको किसने बोल दिया कि इंडियन अच्छी इंग्लिश नहीं बोलते हैं कौन से एरा में जी रहे हैं आप आर यू स्टिल बिफोर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इंडियन स्पीक बेटर देन वॉट एवर यू कैन स्पीक right our writers today write better than what you can and he said sorry to me and it happened on the table on the dais right some of the people came to me and said are aap insult kar rahe hain hamare speaker ki maine kaha main insult nahi kar raha hu maine jo paper mein abhi baat ki unko abhi tak wo baat samajh mein nahi aayi main unko wahi baat dusre tarike se samjha raha tha ab dhyan se suniye socio linguistics we all are frozen into certain taboos जब आपको कोई ये बोले ना एक कॉन्फ्रेंस में कि अरे तिब्बतियन और हिंदी बोल लेते हो या हिंदी वर्कशॉप में बोलते कि अरे ये अहिंदी भाषी लोग है बट हिंदी अच्छा बोलते हैं कौन से एरा में जी रहे हैं हम लोग ये क्या तरीका है ये बोलना कि अच्छा आप ये हो तो ये नहीं कर सकते वो है तो वो नहीं कर सकते लेट्स ब्रेक इट एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज नॉट एन एक्सेप्टेड लैंग्वेज एवरीबडी इज कैपेबल टू डू एवरीथिंग you cannot force me because i am an indian you cannot tell me that my pronunciation are not correct and i am not capable to speak english same is with you but only emotions won't do right you will have to back it up with your hard work how do we do that have some writers done it are there some examples we can learn yes that part of micro linguistics i am going to deal with you i will teach you theory of psychoanalysis how children learn how should we learn how can we learn better and faster how can you do that when you read something you will not forget it are there some help medically yes right so i am not going to teach you linguistic as such on paper rules that just means sir is going to do we have divided i am going to take part care of the other aspect i'm going to talk to you about psychology sociology gender politics 
power besides, yes, some of the concepts of linguistics also. Am I making sense to all of you? The whole thing I wanted that when I'll talk to you first day, I will make you aware that please don't define linguistics as analysis of language. This will be a very petty and a very tiny definition of linguistics. Linguistics is more than that. What does not meet your eyes is linguistics. Right? So next time, if you want to say that you are Tibetan and you Hindi well, then I hope that you give them a better answer with a lot of sophistication. Right? I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm not telling you to be somebody who is not going to be respecting the elders. Right? But ye cheese ko hume thoda sa todna padega. Right? We are living in a cosmopolitan world. And I again will tell you, you have to learn it from Dalai Lama. His holiness as a human being has broken this. A man who has published book on forgiveness, compassion, lived that emotion. Across the globe, he never allows anybody to call him a Tibetan who is not capable to speak English or Hindi or look different. He is capable to do everything and that's the source of happiness for him. According to me, one of the personalities I would like to read, analyze according to his body language, so far as sociolinguistics is concerned, in today's world, I will pick up Dalai Lama's example. Because I don't find a better example than that. Right? Or learn it from cricketers. This is what the 2020 has started. It's a small example, but you understand. Sachin Tandulkar is playing with Britain's team. Right? Uh, Rahul Dravid is the captain of another team. This is what the LP is called. IPL. IPL teams you have seen. Now we are not enemies of Right? Now, you can see that Ravi Shastri is not a commentary. All the commentators are Indians. One thing you can see how many Indians are there. There are many Indians, Africans, Britishers are very few. Those who have given us English and English games, we can do it better. So, what do you do? If I have given you a bullet train, I will change it in a bullet train. The Britishers have given us a railway. Let's change it into a bullet train. Let's tell the whole world that Suva Rikpa is not a petty medicine, alternative medicine. Right? It is a very mighty source of a scientific way of healing. And you will have to talk it in a language which other people will understand. Right? Social linguistics. The, these parts are all interconnected. Other things, yes, there are PPTs. Uh, this. We will discuss slowly. Ye shayad Jasmine sir ne mujhe bola tha ki wo karwa chuke. Pragmatics, phonology, phonetics, morphology, syntax. Right? Isko yaad rakhne ka ek tarika yaad rakhi ga ye. 3P, 2SM. Ek chiz yaan rakhi. Linguistic mein ek chiz sikhi ga. Hamesha concepts ko memory se jol li jay. Koi na koi image dimaak mein aani chahiye. To is pure chakkar ko chakkar mein nahi padna hai. Kaise yaad rakhna hai? 3P, 2SM. 3P कौन कौन है? Pragmatics, Phonology, Phonetics, ठीक है? और 2S कौन है? Semantics, Syntax और तीसरा है मैं Morphology. ये हम सब एक-एक दिन आपको पढ़ाएंगे. मैं आपको Morphology पढ़ाऊंगा, मैं आपको Pragmatics पढ़ाऊंगा और मैं आपको Phonology पढ़ाऊंगा. Sir आपको Phonetics, Semantics और Syntax पढ़ाएंगे. Right? So they will come back. Today, Tenzin, ensure that everybody gets these PPT. So that when you meet us in the next class, you can ask us some questions from this PPT. Sir, I have explained this all. Right? Very simple concept. This is all definition. You will come to understand. And don't worry if you have not understood because we are going to pick up every idea, every concept and going to explain it. Right? So these two are just initial lectures. If you have not understood anything, I did not mean to deliver this lecture for you to understand it. I just want to change a little bit today. That you can come out of linguistics to a little bit of a language. Just. If that happened to you, then my lecture is successful. Right? Do you have any question or do you want to share anything or say anything? How is that possible? 
यू कैन आस्क मी इन हिंदी इन इंग्लिश तिब्बतीन कुछ सालों बाद मैं सीख रहा हूँ और आई एम अ गुड लर्नर आई लर्न वेरी फास्ट ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज माई ड्रीम दैट वन डे आई डिलीवर द लेक्चर टू द स्टूडेंट हियर इन खालिश तिब्बती लैंग्वेज दैट्स प्रॉमिस आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दैट ठीक है चलिए आई डोंट नो ही विल इन्फॉर्म ऑल ऑफ यू वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द क्लासेज ऑन वेडनेसडे एंड फ्राइडे राइट सो नोटिस में शायद कुछ और था but that does not matter is it possible that continuously we can have lecture here short sure. else we will talk okay so jasmeet sir will take your classes on wednesday i will take your classes on friday please tell us if you want something specific to include tell us we will expand our lecture hours and if necessary we'll give you four lectures in a week aur ek cheez main aapko unofficially bata raha hu aapko koi bhi topic pareshan karta hai चाहे फिलोसॉफी का हो जैसे कुछ स्टूडेंट मुझे बोले कि सर अगले सेमेस्टर हमारे नेचुरलिज्म रियलिज्म एग्जिस्टेंशियलिज्म बहुत सारे इज्म आ रहे हैं राइट आई डेड माई पी एच डी इन दैट यू टेल एस वॉट यू वॉन्ट वी आर मोर देन हैप्पी एज अ डिपार्टमेंट टू टीच यू आफ्टर आवर क्लासेस दैट्स वॉट यू कॉल यूनिवर्सिटी राइट हम लोग स्कूल में नहीं पढ़ रहे हैं कि दो बजे भाग जाना है घर जाके हॉस्टल में सो जाना है लेट्स डिस्कस समथिंग ठीक है तो आप हमें बताइए आप किस चीज पे लेक्चर चाहते हैं यू कैन टॉक टू योर प्रेसिडेंट न्यूज विल कम टू अस एंड ऑल आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल ऑफ यू इज प्लीज डोंट किल दिस ट्रेडिशन ये जो ट्रेडिशन हमने शुरू किया है आई प्रोमिस वी सी कि सर आप इसको रेगुलर चलने दीजिए ये एक सेमेस्टर या एक महीने की बात नहीं है राइट इट मस्ट कंटिन्यू एवरी सेमेस्टर अलग अलग आप हमें टॉपिक बताइए वी विल डेवलप द कोर्सेस फॉर यू दैट यू लीव ऑन अस right so that we can discuss we can learn we can sit together and let's say read 10 poems of william shakespeare or two novels of indian writers or writers of tibet and english together compare let's have a pleasure of reading itself let's not run away from it am i making sense to all of you yes. thank you so much i'll see you next friday right see you next.